Hey guys, it's Danny. Time for a new unboxing and this is a package sent by my family. And I know they all contributed, but I know my mom's the head of this. She's my partner in crime. So I know already what's in here. I really hope everything arrived okay. But if I know my mom, I know she packed very well. So from the get go, front, open here. So that's what we're gonna do. So in my whole meltdown with the orchids that I lost lately, of course I talked to my mom and of course she was becoming quite concerned about me because <laughs> I was really sad, you guys. And in full honesty, I don't think there's anybody better in this world to understand what you're going through other than your mother and your parents, obviously. So let's see. Yeah, I got a note. Happy birthday. Mom, dad, my brother and my sister-in-law wish me a lot of happy years, full of joys and a lot of health. Yeah, I need health. Oh, and this is actually added by my father. Be happy, your father. But this is kind of slangish. If you know Romanian, you know what this says. Aww. Let's not get emotional. So there are the orchids. Oh, Ooh, where do I start? My mom wish that I'm paquetata așa de bine că nici eu nu pot să le despachetez. Okay, so this Kalia lost its flowers, but I already know how it looks like. I have a picture because my mom took a picture. You have it on the screen. It is a beautiful Kalia orchid. It's that really deep, intense orchid. Of course, it's a no ID, but I do know this no ID. Maybe I should give it a name. It's a very, very fragrant one. And I think I have a new growth starting here. This is the new cane. It looks quite, quite lovely. And even though it lost its flowers, it's okay. Orchid flowers usually don't fare so well on transport. But I have been dying to have this Kalia because I know how fragrant it is. Really excited to have this one. My mom knows what I like. Okay, the next orchid we have here is the Phalaenopsis Mini Mark. And you might remember I already had a Mini Mark, but if you go back in my video archive, you'll notice that my mini mark is suffering from the orchid fleck virus slash disease. Nobody yet knows what it is. And a new mini mark I really, really wanted to have. So that gives you an idea about what's going on with my mini mark. We'll make an update on that disease. I'll tell you my observations, tell you what I noticed. And yeah, shed some light in the orchid fleck virus disease that we talked about last year. But in any case, this is a perfectly healthy, mini mark that I really love and yet again my mom really knows me and she told me this was actually the only one left she actually went back to the store she initially saw three when she went back there was only this one so I was pretty lucky with this one and the last orchid is yet again a cat I will share with you a picture on the screen because again the flowers didn't last uh, this orchid also had buds here uh, they didn't last I do still see a viable sheath maybe it will bloom that's okay and I'll call my mom tonight and I'll tell her so she doesn't freak out. I don't know if you can appreciate how big this orchid is. I really liked this Kalia orchid because it has a feature I don't encounter all that often in Kalia orchids. The petals and sepals are actually darker than the lip. The lip is a little bit white and it makes for such a nice contrast. I absolutely love this orchid. I'm presuming it is um, fragrant as well and right now I'm checking. Yeah, I do feel something. So there are buds here. Let's hope they will bloom. If they don't bloom, I don't mind. Look how big and bushy this orchid is. I just want to hug her. So these are the orchids that I received as a present from my family and I'm so happy to have them. I will cherish them and I'll care for them and I hope I'll make them justice. So this has been the unboxing for today. Lots of new orchids. There's another unboxing on the way. So stay tuned for that and I'll keep you up to date with these orchids. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos updates and other plants as well and I'll see you all next time. Bye! So remember that one of my viewers sent me some cuttings of a Hoya tricolor? Well, the cuttings have caught. They look fabulous and look at here, the tiny new leaves are pink. I'm really curious to see how they develop. She's sitting in bright light, the older leaves didn't pink up but yeah, she looks really pretty. Now she's a quadro color, can we call it like that? A quadro colored Hoya?